Hi coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to get into contact with me to talk about your football training business, then visit the description below, number of ways that you can reach me to, to talk about your business there. So today I wanna to talk about how to successfully set up referral programs. Now, this is something I've been getting asked a lot recently. And if you are in the UK, then as you probably know, you've got a lot of important uh, dates coming up. Um, February half term being one of them, right? So if you're looking to run any camps during that half term break, then after, then we've got the Easter, uh, the Easter half-term holidays. Uh, that's obviously a big one for, for a lot of families, especially in the UK. And, you know, if you're watching this and you're based in the US, in Canada, in Australia, wherever you're watching this from, right, the Easter is usually quite a busy time for parents um, and, and kids as well. So today I want to show you an eight step guide to setting up successful referral programs with current clients okay so this video can be used if you don't have clients but it's more focused on if you have already have a group of about five to ten clients that you're working with on a regular basis and you want to run a referral program to try and grow your clientele Okay, so I'm going to go through it step by step. Uh, make sure that you're taking notes because I know it's going to really help you. And if you want to get in contact with me, description below, we can set up a call to, to do that. Right, so how to successfully set up a referral program, right? So the first one is understand the value of your referral program. So by understanding the value of your program, you then understand what that client is getting in return for them bringing you business. So if it's a 50% off discount of next month's subscription, then that is the value. Uh, if it is a free one-to-one -one training session, okay, that's the value, right? So when you speak to current clients, about your referral program, you have to understand the value and look at it from the perspective of if you were speaking to a parent, all right? Or if you were the parent and a coach was talking to you about a referral program, what are a few things that you would, would find that parents find valuable in order to set up this referral uh, program, all right? Second one, identify your ideal referral candidates. Now, what I want you to do is make a list of all the, the current customers that you have and go through them one by one and pick out the best ones. So who there, which parents from your list would make ideal referral candidates. Now, having done this for a very long time, also owning my own a football academy business i know that not everyone on my database is going to be the perfect fit for this referral program but <clears throat> what you have to do is you have to make a list of all of them go through them and then pick out the best ones in order to reach out uh, for your referral program now the third one is create an incentive structure so an incentive structure means why should they do it? What's the incentive for them? And that kind of goes back to my first point, which is understand the value of the program, okay? So if the incentive for them is to get cheaper training, then they will do it, okay? But they will only do it if they like what you currently do if they don't believe in your company if they don't believe in your training if they don't really like it that much then unfortunately they won't do it okay so you have to create an incentive to make them think do you know what wow like i'm getting a lot of value from this and if i do it 
then I'm going to get this in return, right? Now, I don't want to go through all the incentives that, that, that you could run because I want you to connect with me over a call. And this is where I can share you, uh, share more information with you, right? The fourth one, communicate clear, clearly. So make sure that when you are communicating your referral program to parents, whether it be via phone, via email, via text message, however you want to do it. Ideally, I recommend coaches to get on calls with parents and talk about it. Okay, some coaches might find it uncomfortable, but I find I find that it's a it's probably the best way to sell your referral program. But make sure that however what whatever way you you do it, make sure that you communicate clearly so parents understand what they are getting themselves into and what the process is all about. Fifth one, utilize technology to track referrals. So again, this could be a great way if you're running upcoming camps. So we'll take the February half term one, for example. If you're running a half term camp and you want to promote your referral program, you could have a website or a landing page with a specific code that parents put in if they've referred someone to you, okay? So for example, if Mrs. Jones has a parent that is interested in attending your camp, right? You could give Mrs. Jones a code which that parent that is interested puts into the system and then ultimately they get a discount of the camp. Now, if they sign up and they get a discount, then what you can do with Mrs. Jones, you can have an agreement to say, right, if this parent signs up on this 50% uh, discount, then what we will do as a thank you, we will do this, this, this. It could be a free training session. It could be a discount to an upcoming camp. It could be a player evaluation. It could be loads of things. All right, but that is a way to utilize technology, create a landing page, create a code that you give to parents and they use it, right? There's a lot of software out there to, to do this. If you want more help on this, reach out to me, I'll be able to help you. Now the sixth one, promote the referral program. So you could do that via email marketing. You could do that via text message. You can do that via social media. If most of your parents are on social media, right? You know, you could call people up, call your current customers up and, and talk to them about it, but promote the, the program. Something I do in my football academy is every two weeks, I run a bring a friend program. So they can bring a friend for a free trial session as an incentive to sign up, to, to sign up and try out uh, our training. Now, again, if that uh, parent does the um, bring a friend uh, incentive and they sign up, then what I do, whoever bought the friend, then I give them a discount off of next month's uh, subscription, okay? So the next one, show appreciation, okay? Now, this is something a lot of coaches don't do enough of and show appreciation to the people that are helping you to grow your business. So if Mrs. Jones is referring two or three, um, you know, customers to your camp or your one-to-one -one business or your small group sessions, right, show appreciation to her by offering something for free, okay? It could be a gift. It could be a gift card. It could be a free session. could be a free workshop. It could be just anything, but show appreciation for her. Okay, for her or him, whoever it is, it might be a mom or a dad. Okay, now number eight, monitor and optimize. Okay, so monitor what is working and continue to optimize it so it continues to work for you. Right, so for, for my business, the bring a friend every two weeks worked really well because parents started to bring friends to sessions. So I kept that going and that added per month. It added anywhere between five to 10 extra players per month into my academy business. You know, for you, it might be it might be another different type of referral program. But for me, because it worked, 
I continue to do it. And I just continue to, to go through the, the same eight steps that I'm showing you in front uh, to grow and continue to op optimize it to the point where, you know, as more people referring people into your, into your program, essentially you, your referral program is growing more and more. Okay. So again, if you need more help on any of these eight things that I've shown uh, in front, then reach out to me, visit the description, number of ways uh, we can connect there. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.